Hey guys, today I just wanted to take a look at a couple different um, seat belt style straps. Probably the most quality version of an affordable NATO you can get. And so today on Kellen Time, we're going to take a look at two of my favorite and uh, review which one, which one I think is better. So um, what do we have here? We have a toxic shiznit in uh, the jungle green. So the Toxic Shiznits are their uh, top of the line premium NATO from Terry at Toxic NATOs. Uh, it's about 30 bucks. And then the other one, let me take it off the Halio C4, is from Cincy. Uh, Cincy Straps. And this one is um, their premium seatbelt style NATO. They're, so they're both, uh, they're both seat belt style and that just means it's a nice tight weave and it feels like what you would imagine a seat belt feels like um so they're supposed to be, you can see they have like a a nice kind of sheen to them um so the toxic is 30 bucks it's 290 mil long and it's 1.4 mil thick so 1.4 there now um the Cincy Strap Co says it's almost is exactly the same. So it's, they both are supposed to be 290 mil in length, which they both look just about exactly the same. But if you get them in hand, you can tell that might be hard to see on camera, but the The Toxic is a little bit thicker. Now, if I get my calipers out and I try to measure it, which measuring the thickness of a 1.4 mil strap is not the easiest. But yeah, it's, it's right there at 1.36. And the Cincy, which also says it's 1.4, but you can feel when you hold them next to each other, they're different. Thickness, 1.16. And you can feel it. When you hold these two, sorry, 1.26. When you hold these two side by side, it's kind of hard because it's like how, how hard do you squeeze down on that material because it's going to compress a little bit. So once it just gets a little bit of tension, it's right around 1.16. Again, the toxic... Yeah, just under 1.4 and again that's something that you can feel now they're both very nice they're both very quality they both have um, brushed well you can you can choose on Cincy you can choose your hardware combination but you can see the toxic has this little bit of that angled hardware and the Cincy is squared then the other difference is the gap between the top loops. The Cincy is a little bit, uh, I guess, closer together. And then the buckle is signed SC or CS Co. And the Toxic isn't. They both come in 20 and 22 mil. Both really nice hardware, both really well made. Holes are great. Looks like you get one or two more holes with Cincy than you do with Toxic, but I got a big wrist, so um, I don't need those holes at the end. If you have a pretty small wrist, maybe that would be something you need. But they both work really well when you drop them in. And then... Um, even I have a almost a basically a seven and a half inch wrist and I can still tuck this into itself and do the tail. So let me show you real quick. So you can see even on a 
seven and a half inch wrist. I still have plenty of room to get that up and around and tucked in there with a little bit left over. So which one do I like more? I've had both of these for a while. I've had the, the Toxic for a little bit longer. I've had the Cincy for about a week. And it's been on this, on the Halios almost every day um, since I've had it. <clears throat> Which one do I like more? Whoa! Almost lost you guys there. It's got to be, for me, that little bit of extra thickness that you get with the Toxic doesn't make it too thick, but makes it just a touch softer. And so for me, it's like, let me just try to think of a way to describe this. Um, it's just a little bit more flexible and softer. So you can see, you know, if you hold these up, you know, you can see how a little bit more rigidness to the, to the Cincy than the Toxic is just buttery soft. Like it'll just fold lay any way you want. And the, the Cincy has just a little bit more rigidness to it. They probably have the same amount of wear, so it's not like the it's not like the uh, toxic is more broken in. But the little bit extra thickness and the little bit more pliability to the material makes it really nice for me. Um, but you know the Cincy is four dollars cheaper, so it comes in at twenty six bucks. So if you're looking at f just straight cost, then this might be your best value for the seatbelt style straps that I've come across. These two are by far my two favorite, but in terms of head to head, the Toxic I think is gonna take the cake. But um, I don't know, let me know your thoughts. If there's another brand out there, I know that Phenomenados is one I've tried, um, and I still prefer probably one of these two. Um, but uh, for me, for you know, basically under 30 bucks or under, these are the best straps you can get. They're very, very comfortable. Their, uh, you know, values there um, just makes it easy. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you have any questions on these. I think that they're both great straps, but if I had to pick to continue to order different variations and different colors, I'm just gonna go Toxic because I love the feel of it on wrist. It just is so buttery soft. I haven't felt another one like it, so. Yeah, let me know your thoughts, guys. Just a quick video on a couple straps I wanted to talk about. So, there it is. Thanks.